Now that we have some paths to work with, it's time to start the fun stuff. The actual illustrating of our lamp. We'll start with the lamp body, which we're going to give the look of shiny glazed ceramic. To begin, go to the Paths palette, click on the Lamp Paths, then, using the Path Selection tool, activate the path pertaining to the body of our lamp. With the body path activated, go back to the Paths palette and turn it into a selection with a feather radius of zero. Then hide the paths by clicking on the open space below the word lamp. This should leave us with just a simple selection around the body of our lamp. The next step is to create a new layer to work on since we want to keep the original line drawing intact. And let's call it body. Then go to the swatches palette, select a middle gray, and fill the selection in the normal mode at 100%. When it's filled, go ahead and turn off the selection. Once that's done, go to the Layers palette and lock the layer's position so it won't move. Also lock the transparent pixels, which will save us from having to keep reselecting the shape over and over again, and will prevent us from accidentally painting anywhere else on the layer. Now we're ready to paint. Start by going to the Tools palette and selecting the paintbrush with a 150 soft pixel brush. Then set the opacity at about 15%, making sure the mode is on normal, and set the foreground and background colors to their default black and white. That should leave you with black as your foreground color. Then move over and paint in the shadowed side of the lamp, which in this case will be on the left. And don't worry if it's not perfect. We'll fix any of the problems in a minute. When you're done, switch the foreground color to white and paint in the highlights of the lamp, which would be on the right and on the up-facing surface. You should also paint in a little reflected light on the far left edge. Now, if you need to, it's okay to go back and forth alternating between black and white until you match approximately what you see on the screen. And again, don't worry if it's not perfect. When you're done, go to the Filters menu, down to Blur, and select the Gaussian Blur filter. When the dialog box comes up, play with the slider until it blurs the lamp just enough to smooth out any of the imperfections. And don't worry about the outer edge of the lamp getting fuzzy. That won't happen since we've locked the transparent pixels on our layer. When you're done, go ahead and save your file. 